People living in a neighborhood in southeast Oklahoma City are picking up what's left of their homes after a tornado ripped through early Sunday morning and still dealing with some of that weather this morning as well. Yeah, they saw it this morning. Good Oklahoma's Gypsy Keepover was there yesterday talking to people just hours after the storm passed. Gypsy, you were there this morning when we saw another tornado warned system come through the area. And uh, what damage are you seeing out there right now? Yeah, Shelby and Wayne, it seems relentless. The rain will not stop. We've continued to see lightning strikes. We were here this morning as those tornado sirens again went off. And this is what people are dealing with. Many people cannot even stay in their homes. We've only seen a handful of people arrive back in this neighborhood. And it's because you're seeing situations like this. Major power lines down in this neighborhood of southeast Oklahoma City. You can see that large power pole. It's metal was ripped from the ground, taken, chopped in half and landed on this home. This home lost most of its roof. It's one wall is barely standing and this neighborhood as we move through, it's the same thing over and over again. Now, some homes were not hit as hard as others, but according to the National Weather Service, this is projected to be an EF3 tornado with at least 136 mile per hour winds. We talked to some people. They said that they felt lucky that they only lost a roof. Uh, but then other situations, as you see right in front of you, it looks like a bomb went off. It was the loudest that I've ever heard in my life. And at that time, my daughter, she got up. She was very frantic, but uh, she was able. I was able to get her and my wife in one of the hallways in the house. And the first thing we started doing was praying. Stuff can be paid for. Everybody's okay. It's all that matters. Well, every single thing is replaceable, but the people aren't. And so for us to walk away with like absolutely no injuries, no issues at all, like that to me means way more than whether or not I have a couch or a roof. That woman, Katie Anderson, she tells us that she was actually living in Shawnee when that tornado hit in April 2023. She moved to southeast Oklahoma City for her house to be hit again in less than two years, hit by two different tornadoes while living here in Oklahoma. Now, there were only minor injuries here in southeast OKC with two people having to be rescued by first responders after getting trapped. Now, the storm hit overnight, so the most common thing we heard from people, they did not hear the tornado sirens. They were asleep. They got alerts on their cell phones about the severe weather and they were able to get out of bed, uh, thankfully for some people who lost their roofs, but people said that they weren't able to make it to their storm shelters, so they hunkered down in bathrooms or in the center part of their house. And for a lot of these areas of Southeast Oklahoma City, a lot of these uh, side streets, you can see just how much that wind pushed into these homes. A lot of these homes are still missing their garage doors. You can see flipped vehicles. Uh, we've even seen large planks of wood in the side of vehicles, in the side of windows. So definitely destructive. And uh, now the rain is stopping. It's been intermittent, but it's been difficult for people to even try to clean up in this area so far. If anyone does want to help, they can reach out to the Red Cross. Those volunteers are giving out supplies, and that's the best way to help out while a lot of this debris down power lines are still in this area. Reporting live for Good Day Oklahoma, I'm Jamison Keefover.